How's it going everyone? Well today we have a unit here with after treatment codes, a DEF fluid dosing unit relay feedback code, voltage below normal or short its low source. This is in a Cummins B6.7 and uh, we're just going to go through the diagnostics. This one here is in a school bus but it'll be the same for pretty much every truck. Uh, here's a really generic wire diagram here. But they're basically all going to be wired this way. Um, what we are going to be first looking for is our voltage reading to the doser unit relay and going from there to test the circuit. So let's get started, find the problem. We'll be locating our DEF pump relay, which in this case is this guy right here. Got a nice little diagram. Got that right down there. You have pump relay. Got a label. This is rare to have this, so it's really nice. But uh, yeah, you'll have to find out wherever yours is located. They're usually not too hard to find. Um, and then I got my meter hooked up here to the ground. Quick tip to make sure you got a good ground. Put your ground up connect your meter to voltage and then just load it up real quick yeah it's a good ground we're reading just below 12 volts because this pump is running here um so i'm going to go ahead remove this relay and test the main voltage at it and see what we'll grab so i got the connector off here you see we have our two big red wires which is sending voltage across to the pump and the two small wires which is our control side with the key on we should be getting power on two pins which the control side has power loaded up good strong power the main power side 11.4 which you would think 11.4 is good until uh, you load it up so let me check that again 11.4, load it up, we drop all the voltage. And uh, now we know that our problem is in our main power supply going to the DEF module. So, you have to start chasing the wiring back. This one disappears in the harness, uh, disappears on there, but I'll start out the battery box um, because I believe that's where this draws its power from. Let's check out the wiring diagram. Okay, so there's our relay. And we can see this is the main power that we tested here that we're losing all our voltage. It goes through a 10 amp fuse and connects directly to the pow uh, positive side of the battery. So we'll just make sure this connection is good. We'll check our fuse, make sure that's good and not melted. And then we'll just test the circuit because this is where the problem's in right here. So let's do that. Well, these don't look in the best shape, but that right there wouldn't cause that power drop. On its own. Make sure we have no loose cables here. Find that 10 amp fuse and inspect it. Okay, so here's the 10 amp fuse in the battery box. The DEF feed. Fuse is good. It's not burnt, not blown, not melted. We're gonna test our terminals here. Make sure we got solid 12 volts. And then at least we know this is good. And it looks like it runs through this connector here. We'll test the power here if all this tests good and just keep following it back up into the harness. Okay, I went ahead and load tested our fuse connection here. Good voltage. I load tested our connection here. I just done all three of them. Unfortunately, they're all good because it would have narrowed it down to just this section of the harness if we had our loss in voltage. So that means the problem is from the main power supply wire and the relay there 
So we're gonna have to do some work following the harness. I would suggest trying to follow harness, uh, following the harness back as far as you can and noting any rub points and opening the harness at those rub points to see if there's corrosion. Uh, that'd be the, the probably the fastest way for a quick inspection. And if that doesn't happen, well then we're gonna have to, or if we can't find anything with that, then we're gonna have to isolate the circuit, isolate the harnesses, and uh, find out which section is dropping. So let's go ahead and uh, do a harness inspection on this. Hopefully find some green. So I always like starting from the power source. So from the batteries, I'll do an inspection all the way through as opposed to the part because it disappears to the main harness. So unless it's something's really obvious up there, I'm not gonna go and waste my time opening up the main harness and checking all that. Just because look how nice and easy this is. Just looking at this small loom here that houses our main, or our three cables. And actually, look what I found. I think we found a problem. Let me kind of situate this light here. That, as we know, is bad. Good for us, because we found it pretty quick. But it's bad for the wiring, because they do not like green. So we're going to go ahead and cut that zip tie and open up that loom. See what kind of gifts we got. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, I have to. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Right there. There's our culprit. So I can guarantee you this wire here runs up to that DEF pump relay, and that is why. We are losing all our voltage because this corrosion is creating a resistor in a circuit that's taking up all those volts. So, that's good. That was a quick find. Easy find. These wiring ones are, it's not bad once you kind of figure out what to look for. Um, but as you can see, a simple inspection, you can see a little bit of green sitting there. Well, you know something's not right. So, yeah, that's our, that's guaranteed that's our problem. I'm going to fix this wire and retest for the code. Most likely it'll go inactive, and we're good. So, yeah, that's it. Hopefully this helps someone else who's trying to find this issue or diagnose this code. Um, and, yeah, have a good day. Look at that. All right, got her all fixed up there. I want to turn the key on, connect back up, and our code's inactive, so we got her all fixed up. All right, guys, see you on the next one.